When I was in high school, I had a track coach that loved to give motivational speeches before our track meets. And one of his go-to speeches was, you know, I've got access to a time machine. And you're gonna be saying, why didn't I give more? Why didn't I give 110%? Well, this is your time machine. The track meet's not over, it's just begun. You don't need to suffer. You don't need to wallow in your pity. You still have a chance to go out there and give 110%. And so today's video is your time machine. This is my gift, hopefully to you. This is your time machine. Let's go forward to when you're 80 years old and talk about some things that you might regret while you still have time, while you're still 50 or 60 or 70, or even if you're 79 years old, we still have time to change things. So let's look forward to 80 years old and what a lot of people at that age regret that they didn't do. And let's turn back the clock to today and let's make a difference. Okay, let's go for a walk. You know, I mentioned my track coach. Um, I, I've never been much of an athlete, truth be told. Uh, but I liked hanging out with my friends and particularly with track, I enjoyed pole vaulting. You know, I, I'd see these people in the, Olymp in the Olympics that would pole vault, you know, 18, 20 feet, whatever it is. And that always looked so fun. And I was never able to do that, but I was able to get, you know, 13, 13 and a half, 13 feet, six inches, something like that, which was nowhere near enough to go to state, but it still was a lot of fun. Um, and you know, this life journey of ours is supposed to be fun as well. So let's talk about some of the fun things that we might be wanting to do, but we're unnecessarily sacri sacrificing today. Um, and really the goal is to get you to, to change your vantage point. If you're 50 years old, instead of looking at things as a 50 year old, you know, let's look at things as if we're 80 years old. And, and what are the things that we're gonna say, boy, I really wish that I had done it, right? For a lot of people, we wanna travel more. And you know, as I record this, the pandemic is about six months, 12 months behind us. We all had three years of sacrificing where it was hard to travel. Uh, and you know what, the world's open again and we can travel again fairly easily. Uh, and so if you weren't able to travel, you know, this is, this is a time to do it. Yes, you know, airfare is kind of expensive now, particularly uh, comparing it to before the pandemic. Uh, but you know what, so what? That's why we work, that's why we save money. Uh, so we wanna spend money on things that bring us uh, adventure to our lives, that puts a skip uh, in our step, that uh, makes our heart beat a little bit faster. Uh, makes it more likely that we're going to be whistling in the morning. So, you know, pursue your dream, you know, and, and speaking of pursuing dreams, a lot of people's dreams is, um, is to start a company, you know, and, you know, maybe you had a lot of responsibilities for the last 20 or 30 years of your life, right? You had kids that you had to save money for college. You had a mortgage payment. Um, you had to save up for retirement. Uh, and it can be risky to start a company, but you know, for many of my viewers, those responsibilities are now behind us. And there's probably never going to be a lower risk time in your life to pursue a dream like that. If you've always wanted to start your own business, if you've wanted to maybe pursue a career that's not as lucrative, you know, a lot of people really enjoy creative activities, uh, maybe being a dancer or a painter, an artist, a sculptor, um, a you, you know, <laughs> doing YouTube videos, whatever it is, uh, there's likely never going to be a lower risk time, right? If you do that in your thirties, when you're, when you have to be saving up money for your kid's college education and 80% of companies don't work out, um, uh, the, the downside is quite a bit higher, but if you're super close to being financially independent or are, are already financially independent, now can be a time to do that, right? So I think your 80 year old self, you're gonna to wanna to know that you had your time at the plate. You had your time to try things. Now, I would encourage you to not, not put too much of your own capital at risk, right? You wanna be intelligent. The nice thing is you only need to become financially independent once, but then the job is to keep that money. So yes, it's a lower risk period, but you know, think about what the lowest cost way of, of, of pursuing an idea is. Uh, okay, let's, let's keep moving on. Um, you know, I, I said earlier, if you're 40, 50, 60, 70, this is your time machine. This is the time uh, for you to look back and, 
and say, you know, what are the things that you would regret? And, and common regrets are, you know, that you, you didn't follow your dreams, you didn't travel as much. Uh, you know, another regret is maybe there's relationships uh, that you want to invest more time in. Maybe you have a, an aging parent that, you know, you're feeling drawn towards uh, spending time and helping helping with their care. Or, or you have adult children and there's grandkids and, you know, it seems like that window to bond with your grandkids is going to be there forever. But you know what? It's not. Um, and, and so maybe you spend uh, some time, you invest time, um, maybe like, you know, for three months or, you know, you give your adult kids a, a, a hall pass and say, you know, go, go on vacation for two or three weeks and, uh, you know, we'll take care of the kids. Uh, and that, that's going to be a lot of work. But I think it's also going to be very rewarding. I'm going to turn around. The sun's kind of in my eyes. We'll walk the other way now. Uh, so this is your chance to do that. And hopefully you take advantage of, of, of that. Um, and, you know, I want you to think about actually the videos. You guys need the light. So I'm going to go back this way. Uh, I want you to think about, you know, if it seems really risky to retire a little bit early, you know, think about, you know, could you be laid off from your job? And what would you do if you were laid off from your job? You know, the reality is in our 50s, it's going to take time to find another great job. And, you know, Jim Carrey's got a great speech that he gave where, you know, Jim Carrey, obviously the famous American comedian, uh, actor and comedian. And he talks about, you know, his father was super funny as well. And his, and his father wanted to pursue a career in comedy. Um, but he felt that that was too risky for the family. And so Jim Carrey's uh, father became an accountant uh, instead of being a comedian. So he was probably the funniest accountant in uh, Southern California, but he wasn't able to pursue his dream. Uh, and so you can kind of see where Jim Carrey was probably nudged in that direction because dad wasn't able to pursue his dream. And we're all the beneficiary from it. But, but Jim, I like to watch commence, commencement speeches and, and Jim Carrey talks about you know, it really broke his father's heart because he sacrificed a lot, giving up his dream of becoming a, a, a stand-up comedian, of being an actor so that he could be an accountant, so he could be a good provider for the family. And you know what? He ended up getting laid off from that job and the, the family struggled financially anyway. So, you know, if you're going to go through a burden like that, wouldn't you rather go through that burden of following your dream as opposed to going through that burden and say, ah, I didn't follow my dreams. And, and so that's really what the purpose of today's video is, is encouraging you to follow your dreams. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Help me follow my dreams by hitting the like button. As the kids say, thumbs for likes, subs for love, and comments for a soul. I love reading your comments. Uh, and if you like today's video, I know you're gonna like this video over here where I talk about uh, average income in retirement for Americans and this video down here that talks about five reasons to retire as soon as you can. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.